Imagine a star. Not a glowing dot in the night sky, but a behemoth, a titan, a celestial colossus that could swallow our entire solar system in its fiery maw. This is V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red supergiant so big, so fierce, it defies conventional understanding. Tonight, we leave the known paths of the constellations and enter the uncharted territory of stellar giants. We embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of V.Y. Canis Majoris, a dance of light and dust, a waltz of creation and destruction, a story etched into the fabric of the universe. Millions of years ago, a giant cloud of gas and dust collapsed under its own gravity, creating a nuclear reactor much brighter and more massive than our sun. The Icanus Majoris was born, a blue supergiant blazing with unimaginable energy. The Icanus Majoris was estimated to be 20 times the mass of our sun and 1,800 times wider. At its peak, it outshined our sun by millions of times, a true celestial luminosity. But in this hell, a drama unfolded. As V.Y. Canis Majoris ran out of fuel, it began to swell, transforming into the red supergiant we see today. V.Y. Canis Majoris denied intelligibility. Stretching more than 2,100 times the diameter of our sun, it could exceed the orbit of Mars and consume the entire inner solar system. If placed at the center of our solar system, its outer edge would graze Earth's orbit. The Icanus Majoris isn't just big, it's losing mass at an alarming rate. It sheds material into its stellar wind, forming a massive dust cloud around it, spanning more than 17 light years. This cosmic shroud, a testament to the unstable nature of the Icanus Majoris, also hints at the possibility of hidden companions, planets, or even smaller stars orbiting this cosmic giant. Can life exist around such a behemoth? Although the scorching heat and intense radiation near V.Y. Canis Majoris make it unlikely for life as we know it to have evolved, the massive dust cloud it has thrown up could be astounding. Some theorists suggest the possibility of planets forming in dust clouds where temperatures are more moderate. These fictional worlds would face unique challenges but could provide the perfect conditions for extraterrestrial life adapted to extreme environments. The Icanus Majoris, even at the outer edge of its influence, pushes the boundaries of what we thought was possible in the universe. Like all stars, the reign of V.Y. Canis Majoris is not eternal. When it finally runs out of fuel, it will collapse in a spectacular supernova, a cosmic explosion so bright that it can outshine the entire Milky Way for weeks. This supernova would be a monumental event, enriching the interstellar medium with duplicate material in the core of V.Y. Canis Majoris. These elements will become the building blocks of future stars and planets, a great cycle of life, death, and rebirth in the universe. Although its death will be spectacular, the death of V.Y. Canis Majoris will be a testament to the universe's endless dance of new life, creation, and destruction. The Icanus Majoris, a grand waltz of light and dust, reminds us of our place in the cosmic scheme of things. We are stardust dancing in the shadow of giants, yet full of curiosity to understand their mysteries and wonder to admire their heavenly dance. So, the next time you look up at the starry sky, remember the red giant Canis Majoris, a silent titan whispering tales of the vastness of the universe and the eternal cycle of life, death, and rebirth.